I twisted myself. You twisted? Yeah. Who's the one who did that? Yeah, yeah. Bro, where we at again? We're at San Reval. San Reval. Yeah, like they got great pastries and like cake and stuff. And they have a pretty decent dinner. But in the morning on Sundays, from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m., they got this donuts. Breakfast okay. buffet is out of the station. Highly recommended by the homie G over here. First taste test, knocking everything, y'all. Got a little bit of everything. Got some of that chicken. Yeah, that's one of my favorites, the chicken I've seen though. Mm. I should've got more. I will. The chicken is busting. Got mm. like a baked tomato. Thank you. I'm gonna slide the omelet on top of the chorizo and rice. Did you put it in the cheese cake? Oh, that's your moment. That's your moment. Break it down for him. Nothing break down under that. It's bad. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, That was a quickie, y'all. But he said the cheesecake is busting. No time to mess around with the cheesecake. Just gotta go down and sit.
Where there is love, I'll be there. Don't you know, baby? Yeah, yeah. Well, I really appreciate my dog inviting me out here, man. He's showing me a great time. So just to give you guys the insight for my future influencers or the influencers that are watching me currently right now, what G does is he basically has a management to where he flies creators abroad out to the Philippines to stay with him for a week or so, and you guys make content together. Now he has all this great equipment. Not only will you be able to use this equipment and you'll have a place to stay and a free ride all the way out to the Philippines from whatever country that you're in. Ding, 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 ding. But you also build a healthy relationship. And then, of course, you know, it's business. So whatever content you make with him on these devices and it goes viral, you feel me? Obviously, you guys will be splitting that down the middle 50-50 because it's digital real estate and it's worth it. You want to know why it's worth it? Because you wouldn't have been in the Philippines anyways. So yes. here we have a, a, a man who's willing to fly you out here so that you can live your dream of doing it how you do it as a content creator. And he's going to supply the tools for you to be able to make the content. And all you got to do is, is show up and perform and have a good time. And have a good time. So... If this is anything that you're interested in, I'll make sure his information is below. Because you see me right now. I'm at the beach here in the Philippines. I'm in Dumaguete, a.k.a. Negros Oriental. And I'm not saying that to be rude. That's literally the name of the place. Why do they call it Negros? Because when the Spaniards came over here and started slaughtering everything, they seen a whole lot of brown skin and dark skin Filipinos, probably some Ates. I don't know the description. I wasn't there. But they seen all the black people down here and it was like, ooh, we're going to call that Negras. Mm. That's a Negra Island right there. And then boom, years later, it's still called that to this day. So. If you guys would like to know more about the Philippines or learn with me, because I'm learning every day myself, make sure you're checking me out on YouTube at Cool Tits, a.k.a. Cool DMG, baby. Because I am unraveling this place. I'm not just jumping around um, eating food, but I am definitely doing that at the abundance level. You know, my channel is more like journalism, and I just make sure I share the love. Speaking of love, what is this? This is the famous boardwalk that is often talked about. This, so this is the Dumaguete boardwalk now. It's pretty, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Vibe with me, tribe. Vibe with me. What type of fish are you looking to catch? What, what type of fish do you are you looking to catch today? You don't know. Just yeah. Back when I used to be one of the greatest health influencers on the internet, I would talk about this product, the seaweed. And the seaweed is growing all along here. Now this isn't the one that I would sell, but if you look closely on those rocks, this is how it goes. So, when I say we're super close, 
like snacks and shit. Mm -hmm. like rent one of these tables. Like one day we had the homies come through. We just went to the table and brought our own food and just chilled with them. Everybody, I know what that's be like. Right there. You can put like your boat down that way. Mm -hmm. It get real village like over there. Across the road here. And it's called Arnis? Yeah, it's called Arnis. Well, that's what they call it here. Like, you might have heard it called like Filipino stick fighting or um, I want to say Kali. I think I've heard, but I could be wrong about that. But it's called Arnis. Okay, yeah. It's a pretty cool little martial art. We were looking down this way. Mm hmm. Got the fishermen over there. Past scuba diving over there, like, uh, what's it called? Smoking. Got the roosters crook recurring. Yeah. Kids got the basketball court. Oh, Pops getting buckets. <laughs> Pops is definitely getting buckets. Yeah, we're Should we pull up on the court? Pull up on them at the court. Oh, oh, sauce him up. Oh, he is not saucing him up. Getting buckets. It's tough. It's looking tough for him. It's looking tough. That's the reality of all in out here, man. What's up, bro? Hey, bro. Yo, yo. What's up, man? Just chilling, just chilling. I was about to play ball with y'all, but that just determined it when the ball went in the water. Maybe next time. Grandma over there, she was hitting her granddaughter like, yo, go talk to him. Yeah, like, hey, check out the net. They about to let the whole community know, like, er, hey. Uh, not right now. My stomach a little bubbly. Oh, shoot, he almost dumped. I'm gonna walk around. We gonna walk around and we gonna make some videos. And then if y'all still over here, I'm gonna come over here and get it in with y'all. Put a little bucket up. All right. He looking like, boy, ain't nobody. <laughs> he like, <laughs> You see how you look at me like, man, he ain't gonna be bad. Yeah, I don't care. I don't wanna hear that. Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant? That's that Kobe Bryant. Yo, who I'm kicking it with right now? What's good? It's Passport Bro G. Passport Bro G on everything. Most deaf. And where we at? We're in the Philippines. We're in Negros, the island of Negros right now. The island of Negros, bro. You a, you a, you a black, consider yourself a black man? Yeah, I'm, I'm mixed. I'm Afro Latino, so. Okay then. So how they treat black people here in the Philippines? I mean, you just saw it yourself. They're, they're pretty chill. Everybody, they, there's a real welcoming, welcoming community here. Like, I haven't gotten any hate since I've been here. It's all been love, all of it. Where? Why you come to the Philippines? Why the Philippines? I mean, take a quick look around. Gorgeous scenery. Um, the money, the American money goes long here. I don't have to work as hard as I did back in the States. And I met a good woman here, you know what I'm saying? So, met a good woman. Ah, what is it like um, dating a Filipina? Oh, I mean. Or what's three things? Let me let me let me let me start it off. What's three things? That's what's, what's three things ways you can describe um, women here in the Philippines? Um, traditional. Okay. Feminine. Okay. And um, a lot of them are firecrackers, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What would you say to somebody who wants to come out here but they don't know what to what like what to do or how to start? 
How would you how would you move from here if you were starting from scratch in 2024? Get your passport. That's, that's the first starters. thing. That's the first move. If you want to leave the US or whatever country you're whatever. coming from, yeah, yeah. get your passport. That's the first thing. Uh, get your money up. Have a little bit of money. You don't need a ton of money. You don't need to be rich. You can literally just go on vacation with five racks for a month out here and be chilling on five racks. As long as you're not spending all willy-nilly, then it's easy to survive out here for a month on 5,000 and still have money left over. Tashin, Okay, so what is it about the Philippines that stands out to you the most? Like, what is it that just does it since you came here? Was something that was here about this place that you wouldn't have known unless you came here to find out yourself? Um, well, I've always wanted to travel. I knew I always wanted to travel. Um, I was looking at a bunch of different places on YouTube about where to go, and the Philippines just stuck out. The women were beautiful to me. The islands were gorgeous, and the weather is great, even though it's super hot. Sometimes it's worth it. Um, but once I came out here, like I said earlier, I believe like just every it's all love. There, everybody's so friendly. You usually get a smile, a wave. People are so, so nice here. And last question, what's your favorite Filipino dish? Oh, probably, probably like, oh, it's a, it's a toss up. It's either chicken tocino or uh, pork adobo. Or pork adobo. Yeah. Word, and, word. and put a little lumpia on the side, you got Hey, man, y'all know where to catch more. Tap in.